Hey guys, it's Jodie here from Decorous Vintage Designs and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this very bohemian look. We've got a lot of blending and layering going on here and also we've got some hand-painted folksy art going on here as well. So make sure you stay tuned for that. If you like the video today, don't forget to like and subscribe and also everything that I'm using today is down below. to get started with today guys I've already given this piece a really good clean with white lightning and a scuff sand and today I decided to take off all the pulls and I also gave this a really good prime with boss and this will just ensure that if there is any tannins or bleed through with this piece then it will just stop that that's because I'm coming in with quite a light color here and this is limeade and using my mini brush I am just doing nice long smooth strokes and I'm using a water mister just to help the, the, the paint move a little bit. I'm painting on a really sunny day which has its pros and cons, it's lovely to sit and paint in the sun. The downside is, is that the paint can dry really really quickly so um, I don't actually recommend it but however if you really really want to like I did then just make sure you have a water mister to hand. Okay so I'm going to do some blending now and it's just going to be my usual very rough rustic blending style. With another mini brush I am using the peacock colour which is a really nice deep medium blue and I'm very roughly putting this all over the piece working in sections as you can see here I'm just working on one of the doors and I'm making sure that some of the limeade is also going to peek through. <laughs> I then decided to use Limeade with uh, the Peacock as my highlighter colour because I just think it's a lovely colour and I very roughly place that in the middle and then with a new brush I put Antebellum Blue around the edges. So Antebellum Blue is my darker colour, the Peacock's the medium colour and the Limeade is the highlighter colour. And then with what I call my neutral brush which is the Scarlet in this case because it can offer some very good texture, I am then very very roughly just kind of smoothing that all out. Out. and now I am coming in with some diluted plum crazy in an old mister bottle and it's a 50 50 solution of paint to water and I am just spraying this again in sections all over the piece and it's kind of fun it's kind of like works a little bit like graffiti or at least that's what it feels like when I'm doing it and I'm just going to create some drips so once I've sprayed on all of the plum crazy I am then just coming in with clean water and I'm just going to let that drip down I just want to say make sure that for your paint solution you use a really old bottle because otherwise it can actually clog your bottle eventually and ruin it so make sure it's either a really cheap bottle or a really old bottle and here I'm just kind of just getting rid of some of those drips. I'm working really fast here today guys there's a lot to get through so now it's tree frog green with a chip brush and this is a premium chip brush and I am just kind of dry brushing that all around the edges. So by this I mean I'm putting the tiniest, tiniest little bit on my brush and I'm just highlighting some areas and that's to achieve a chippy layered look. Tree Frog Green is also one of those colours that works amazingly well with any bold colour. It works well with blues and turquoises because it's in the same colour group but it also works really well with contrasting colours like an orange because it, I don't know it just seems to work really really well with brighter colours. So on these panels here I decided to use the Latin Floral Transfer. I'm my own worst enemy again here a little bit because it's far too hot today on this day that I painted for a transfer because heat and any kind of moisture can affect the way transfers apply. So I'm just, as you can see here, it's getting a little bit too sticky around those edges so I definitely recommend when you use your transfers make sure you do use them in a really cool dry environment. Otherwise you get this issue here, but not to worry, all I had to do was I just used my nail just to go around the edges just to kind of break it off and then with just some very low grit sandpaper I just sanded those off and they came off absolutely fine. I then decided to actually come in with a contrasting colour to the tree frog green and this is Rusty Nail which is a really nice deep warm orange, I love it. And just as I did before with a chip brush I am just applying around some of the areas, very patchy, I'm dry brushing it and making sure that all of the, those edges are smoothed out and I'm just again just trying to create layers of colour here. 
then I decided to try my hand at painting some folk art on these door panels. I am by no means, I've never done anything like this before so this was totally new to me. I did learn quite a few things um, about this, this kind of look um, as I was painting. So I started out by using In the Navy and just creating some very rugged looking leaves. Um, I had looked at a few photos and things on Pinterest of the kind of shapes and stuff of the flowers. I opted not to do anything too symmetrical because if I'm being totally honest it drives me crazy like trying to do things symmetrical. Um, so I decided to just come in with something a little bit more rustic however I did repeat the pattern on the other door um, and then here I'm just adding a little bit of cobalt blue to those leaves and then a little bit of cotton with a fan brush just to add some veins to the leaves as well so being me um, I just yeah I just decided to go for it um, and I did actually really really enjoy it it was a really colorful way and very different to my usual kind of flowers and things that I paint because usually they're quite abstract and grungy so it was nice to try something new for a change and I really did think it worked with this piece as you'll see in a mo um, so I just decided to create different shapes so here I'm using evergreen with a tiny little fan brush and then put in a little bit of I believe it was farmhouse green over the top just for a little bit of highlighting and just doing a similar thing again what I decided was if I was ever to do a look like this again what I would do is um, I would act I would probably use chalk I've seen people use chalk and things before before painting a look like this so I would definitely outline um, I would definitely outline what I was doing because as you can see here I painted some lines um, some squiggly lines that were meant to be stands in in the in in the navy and then I used some barn red to create the flower petals and used a little bit of cotton to blend them however I wasn't it because it was hot for a start that created a challenge because the paint was drying too quickly even if even when I was spraying it and then also because I painted it on and I wasn't absolutely keen on the shape but because I'd painted it on it would have been a nightmare just to get it off again so um, yeah if I had used chalk then I could have gotten the shape down before beforehand so that was one thing that I learnt <laughs> sometimes when we learn something new we want to get it perfect and we can stress and um, yeah I, you know I, I didn't even practice if I'm being totally honest I just went straight for it and sometimes though do you know I had loads and loads of fun with it and I think that's the main thing isn't it sometimes you know I was painting out in the sun it was lovely and warm and I just and I was using all these amazing colors and you know, I had a turquoise base, which I absolutely love, and then I was uh, putting all these fun colours on top, and I had loads and loads of fun, so sometimes that is the main thing, and I think it looked okay in the end, I'll sh you know, you'll get to see in a moment, but sometimes the main thing is that you just have fun with what you're doing. <laughs> reminded me actually of when I was back in school and from a young age I was always told by teachers that I was not very good at art and I always had these really old school art teachers and it really really knocks my confidence from a young age in terms of artwork so even as I got older and I got interested in more colours and things like that I just never really pursued it 
because I just thought, well, you know, good at it. Um, I always thought art was something that you had to be born with, um, you, you know, something you either could do or couldn't do. But you know what? I realised that art isn't necessarily always the way that it's taught in schools. Um, and sometimes you can just do it because it pleases you and you can learn it. Um, so yeah so this piece as i was painting it and i was never always the best you know when they tell you to have like a sheet of paper and just go crazy and draw all these patterns and do what you want i was never the best at that but it just goes to show you because i had loads of fun with this <laughs> have how to do hemp oil and all under the Dixie Bell applicator pads and I am applying this and that's how I'm going to seal my please uh, seal this piece I am an absolute hemp oil convert I love it I think it dials up the contrast of the colors and it really really does secure the piece I have since learned um, from one of my last videos that it's not necessarily a good idea to put hemp oil over the transfer I think I was very lucky that it didn't lift um, so I actually sealed the transfer instead with just a flat top coat but yeah I uh, hemp oil I'm a total convert with it. I think it's a great way and a great natural way to seal your furniture pieces. And here's the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I had a blast with this piece. I'd be very interested to hear whether or not you guys have had similar experiences to me in school with art teachers. Um, and also, do you love the boho style or the folks art style? Because I do, I love it. I love anything with color. But as always guys, thanks for watching and happy painting. Bye bye.